Hi and welcome to another how to video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the human form. I would recommend that you use a female or male adult as it can be slightly easier but sometimes you've got to use what you've got and today I have my six-year-old here in the studio to strike a pose so that I can show you very basically how to look at the human form and how to translate it onto paper. So I'm going to use a 6B today because it's dark and it will be easier for you to see but often if you're learning how to draw these figures to get the oval shapes and um, all the different shapes of the body it can be best to use an H pencil just because you don't feel like you're, you're making such definite marks. So a lot of people would start with um, the torso and a lot of people would start with the head but today I'm going to start with the head. So is that your pose? Yeah. So this is his pose and I'm going to start with the head just up at the top. So you can just make an oval shape to begin with. A really good way of measuring where the shoulders are, actually you've tilted your head there, where the shoulders are is by doing a little triangle along out the outside. So that is a good way to bring you down so his shoulders are ever so slightly one leaning down and another thing you can do is you can have a box for the torso or you can have an oval shape. I tend to use an oval shape for like the rib cage here because I think that bodies are, they're mostly round so that's just a good way to work and then if you're going to use the, uh, put the, the arms on the sides then you can see arms coming out so you're going to start with an arm coming out here of the shoulder and the elbow will often go to where the bottom of the rib cage is. His, his left elbow is raised slightly because he's got his hand on his hip, but his, his right elbow comes down just to where the rib cage would be. And it's going into a pocket there. So I tend to break the arm into the two, the section that it comes in. And there's the other one is just resting here. So now underneath this, the rib cage is the little pelvis here. I use, some people don't, um, some people use the whole square to use this or a rectangle. I like to break it into these two. It's kind of like a bean. Trigger words whenever you're looking at human form are things like beans, ovals, squares, triangles. People break it into shapes. So I'm just going to break this as pelvis, not break it, I'm going to put his pelvis on here and then he's crossed his legs over so the leg can come just here. And then you get a knot as another little trigger word. So people like to put a little knot down there where his knee is. And then slide down. I like to put a little knot in for where the ankle is. He has one, arm, one foot going forward. You look a bit lopsided here, honey. And then this other side. So we're going to get this one coming from the hip. And another little knot for his knee. And then it disappears in behind. And he has another foot coming forward. So that is quite a big head there Elijah. No neck. So there you go. That is just a really simple way to look at the human form. It's very basic but um, thanks to my model today and I hope that you can have a little go at that. 